And there they go. Tierra's and clamping. Green, 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 take the green. Y'all don't wreck each other on the first lap. And there they go, they're at it already. They're at it already. Oh, there they go. There we go. Lap number one under done out of the books. Lap number two under the way. Okay, positions two and three. Or three and four, get ready, get ready, get ready. Three and four, go, go, go. Green, green, green for positions three and four. After two more laps, we're going to take positions five through eight. And you guys are going to go after the next two laps. Your number should stay the same, so when he calls that number, you can go. So the point is wreck whoever's on a higher position than you. All right, next four. Go, go, go. Green, green, green. Who is the next four? Up to eight. Go. How we qualified or what it showed? Yeah, how are you qualified? Up to eighth position. Go. So the next group is going to be uh, ninth through 16th. Big ass group, Nord. So we got an hour now. We got a lot of action going on. We got no, smokers out there already. <laughs> a lot of guys. Go call it. All right, 9th through 16th, go, go, go. Guys pulling off the pit road right now, and we got a lot of cars out on the track. Hey, would you guys click like five? Thank you. Next 10 cars, next 10 cars, get ready. Mayhem and chaos. Oh man! Clamp it takes one to the chin. He's gonna have to bring it down. Okay, next ten cars. Green, green, green. Oops. Oh. Anybody else who's left, get ready to go. <laughs> Uh, your leader is going to be Logan Clampett there in the 44. All right, everybody else that's remaining, you're going to get to go here in about a half a lap. All right, everybody else still on pit road. Green, green, green. Everybody out on the track. So everybody out on the track now, and Logan Clampett, your leader, the only one on the lead lap right now, able to survive the very first lap. Logan, one lap ahead of Nichols, Kuntz, and Pumkari. Let's get the uh, driver stuff up there. There we go. So remember, there's no rules in this race. And this is a chance for the guys to take out some aggression, and we see aggression taken out all over this track. Unlimited resets, black flags are going to be cleared. And uh, Clampett giving the bumper there to the number nine, trying to get him out of the way. And he turns the nine around, 24 in the back of the 44. Oh, and Clampett gets nailed. Nailed. Down to the infield he goes. Malik Kuntz. There's Brett Punkari. Oh, the 05 of Makalei around. A lot of action going on on the track here at Bristol Motor Speedway early on. There's a lot of laps to make it up. Now, let me, I would like to add that no one, and I mean no one who has ever started on the pole 
here for a Nord Rumble, who's ever been the very first driver, and that would have been Logan Clampett. No one has ever claimed the checkered flag. So odds are not good in Logan's favor, but Logan has had a great night. And Santigo takes it behind the wall. So does Landon Borgman. Hashtag big fat boobies for them in their near future. Your leader right now is still Clampett. But we have three guys on the lead lap. That's going to be Clampett. And there's Nichols down on pit road in Kuntz. They're in third. Actually, he just went a lap down. So enjoy the wreck fest, folks. We're here at Bristol. Grab yourself a nice ice cold Nordweiser. And enjoy the mayhem. Clayton Fraley, they're in 11. Trying to keep his car clean. Got a lot of damage to the front end. Missing the grill on that machine. And, you know, this is just, like I said, this is just a chance for the drivers to blow off some steam. Go ahead and turn people around. There's a 51. He blows his engine. 67 of Petrick right there in 14th position. Kind of giving him a nudge around. Oh, and look at the pile up coming out of four. Damn, it's a roadblock. That's actually two, Nord. That's actually two. A lot of guys down having to reset their machines, and they're wrecking coming off a of pit road. There the 59 tries to get cute. That's Clayton Fraley tries to get cute coming down on pit road, blows his engine, may not make it to his pit stall, may have to take a tow. Fraley creeping down pit road. Nichols down on pit road. He's got a picture of his dog on the front of his car. And uh, looks like it's 2002 to 2015, so I'm sorry you've lost your dog. I remember when I lost my dog Rocky, we did a rockathon here and people ran uh, my dog's picture on the front of their car, so I'm sorry about your loss there, Jake Nichols. And uh, I totally sympathize for you. Nichols running in fifth right now. He was as high up to third. Look at all the wrecking going down. Coming down. Oh, on his roof. On his roof is the 75 of Mikey V. Ah, uh, Jacob Bell. Yeah, sorry we didn't get to interview you. We generally only ever interview the top three. Um... It was a long race, and a lot of the drivers left anyway. Uh, the races will we be running again for the organization at some point. Yes, we definitely will be doing more uh, for the Drive for Diabetes Awareness Foundation. We'll be doing more in the future. Not a problem. And no, there's no league. Um, if you give me a like on Facebook or follow me on Twitter there, uh, I do what's called Mystery Races, which is what no other broadcaster does. Uh, I throw public races for the iRacing community, which I believe no other broadcaster really does either. Um, I could be wrong about that by now. But anyway, I've been around for about three years and uh, just throw races and they're unannounced. You never know what I'm going to throw, what car or track combination I'm going to do. Or, and I have all these specialty races and you're watching one right now called the Nord Rumble. And this Nord Rumble is is a lot of people. It starts off with two the first two drivers uh, getting a two lap head start, and then the next two drivers coming out on lap number four, the next four drivers coming out on lap number six, so on and so forth. Going 100 laps here at Bristol in the A cars. Um, we're at lap 27 right now, uh, so about a third of the way through the race, and we're seeing a lot of wrecking and a lot of aggression coming on. We do a lot more uh, what we call novelty races here at uh, Norgar. I don't do them all the time because they would get bored and old and boring after a while. But we have twisted mystery races, and uh, there's one we haven't done in a while, in a real long time, and that's Nordageddon. 25 blows his engine, 24 in the 13. That's roll eight, Alvis. Uh, Alvis uh, run very, very well in the uh, race at Talladega last race. Alvis running in sixth position right now. 
excuse me. I'm gonna have to check on Logan Clampett. Where is our leader right now? Let's take a let's check back in with our leader. Our leader is Koontz right now. They're in the five car, and Koontz turned around, battered front end, having to bring it down on pit road. Falling off. There's a lot of smoke down on pit road. The yellow cone, uh, which is cousin to the green cone. And if you've seen the YouTube channel, you've seen the Green Cone Diaries. Green Cone is uh, definitely uh, missing some action here. Richard Allen out on the track. He's scored in 33rd right now. Pace car with nothing to do. Pumkari running in third. Brett, not a great showing at Talladega, hoping to win this one. Brett running in third. Nichols in second. We got four guys on the lead lap. Coons down on... Uh, Pit Road, here comes Nichols around, and I think Nichols is going to be able to take over the lead here. While Koontz down on uh, Pit Road getting service done to his machine. And there we go, Nichols takes over the lead. Lead change here. Bam! 73 hard into the wall. Nichols, the mark target. Numero uno gets destroyed. Down on pit road, he comes. Uh, where is, where is the sponsor from the last race? Where is he right now? There he is, there's a 16 of Brent, Brent Keel running in uh, 23rd right now. Down on pit road with some damage. Everybody's got damage at this point. And uh, let's go live to the driver radios right now. I want you to hear what the drivers are saying to one another, so I'm going to shut up. I'm going to focus in on crashes. And uh, let's listen to what they got to say. Up there. Nine is leader, nine is leader. I am such a dead man right now. Kunkari out in the lead. 9.93. Clear seven, please. And it looks like Kunkari running that low line. Looked like he blew his engine. He's going to bring it down to pit road, and we're going to see another leader here shortly. Sorry, your leader, but Kyle Young is still out on the track. Kyle Young takes over the lead, running in the 93. Kyle Young, Norgar in the booth. You got a copy, Kyle? Uh, for the moment, I do. Kyle, pretty interesting race going on out there so far. You spin around uh, the 16 car. Not a lot of damage to your vehicle there. You're able to take the lead. Not sure you've ever been in a race like this, but uh, you having fun, and what's going on there down in the cockpit? Oh, it's an absolute blast. Um, this is definitely one of the most craziest demo derby type races I have ever done. I've never done it at uh, Bristol, and I've never done it in a car this fast. I'm dead. Um, but yeah, this, this, is, this is epic. Oh, God. This is God epic as he it. goes into the wall, folks. He goes into the wall. We're going to see another leader here very shortly. Punkari. Every time I get out of pit road, flag cleared. Scored in second, one lap down. He's going to have some uh, time to make up a lot of these guys. Kyle Young is your target right now, trying to get him done and out of the race. He is down on pit road. That is going to give Pumkari the opportunity to gain some ground on the 93. Jake Nichols, Kuntz, and Clampett, and Richard Schwint. Richard Schwint down on pit road. Let's talk to Superman. Number nine is leading. Number nine or 93. Superman, Norgar in the booth. You got a copy. 
Guy's carrying play black flags and he's leading. I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm in pit road. Superman, you're down on pit road, but you're in the top ten, man. You've been silent all night long. You uh, are due to win one of these, man. Uh, what are you seeing out there on the track? Well, people are wrecking, Nord. I don't get it. And the next person that hits me, I'm coming unglued. No, no, not the unglued. Not the unglued. We can't have that. I knew you was waiting for it. <laughs> you don't want to unglue Richard Schwinn. You just don't want to do it. Pumkari, your leader, bringing it down on pit road I again there in the number nine. I one of these. Like to see Richard there in the top five. That's great to see him out there. Thank you all for tuning in here tonight, coming out and uh, taking witness to the Nord Rumble. We don't do a lot of these. Schwint back out on the track going by. Pumkari there on the outside. Brett doing a great job right now, and he has got some clean racetrack in front of him as we're almost halfway through this sucker, and we got, uh, yeah, what do we got? We got 53 laps to go. Kari Young Nichols. And I'm just going to give the reminder to the guys on the track. Yes. Nine car doing one hell of a job with a lot of clean, clean racetrack. Guys, nine car is the guy you don't want to see gain any more ground on you. Have fun. I can drive. Trying to uh, drive him. But what if you want Canada to win? There we go. Five know. car into the wall. Pumkari went into the wall as well. And Pumkari going to bring it down. And I uh, got a thingy Ray cleared. Ray Murray running in fourth. Oh, look at that. Just kidding. I'm not going to help the nine. Looks like uh, the crowd at Bristol is a little stiff out there tonight. A little flat out of Bristol. There's Edward Burtz Jr. running in ninth position. There in the 28, 24 around 73 gets a gives him a good clip. Lap 50 of 100. We are halfway through this baby. Alvis trying to get it down to pit road after hitting the inside wall real, real hard. No, he's going to keep it out there. Oh, bam! Giving these guys uh, the opportunity to blow off some steam. Bam. Oh, that was a hard lick. Engine done on that. Nichols is done. 24 is done. The dog is crumpled. Oh, no. Mikey B off of pit road. Happen. Yeah. And Punkari still your leader. Come on. Come on. Someone's going to take all the... Uh Nine here. A lot of black smoke out of the you. back of the number Nobody nine Ford Fusion machine. Where is it at? Uh, come past me, three. Oh crap! Somebody just got him, I think. Yep, somebody got him halfway. Kari keeps that vehicle running. Look at that, folks. He ain't got much left in that. He's going to have to bring it down pit road and get service uh, five. on that. Oh, going to give the opportunity late. of the rest of the field to gain some ground on the number nine. Two laps down. Second place, Jake Nichols <laughs> down on pit road. Oh, Young down there. on pit road. Oh, Logan yeah. Clampett has just player. been camped out down on pit road all night. Kuntz. Kuntz has been running good. He's five laps down. Richard Schwint, seven laps down in a sixth position. Alvis in seventh. Eighth is going to be Bird. Petrick in ninth. Birch Jr. Nothing, you, you can't predict what's going to happen in these races. That's why they're so much fun. Hi, Black Flag. Bam. Around he goes. Petra oh, keeping on. his nose clean. 93 of Young. Oh, no. There in the Toyota Camry machine. Somehow, some way, regains it, but a lot of black smoke. It Not looks like bitches. he cut some oil lines. Scrap Shack is Nick Hunt. A lot of these cars are Scrap Shack tonight. Oh, 
Let's focus in on crashes yet again. There's Birch Black, Jr. Black running in 11th. Oh, man! Oh, man, what a hard lick. Upside down, vomit in the helmet. Somebody grab that driver. This is some Febreze, a wet nap, Gatorade in an Good orange slice. For having the most because incident. he's going to need that down there. Might want to bring some smelling salts as well. There's a 16 of Brent, Brent Keel there on the outside, smoking heavily, trying to bring it down on pit road, running in 26 position. Raul, you got to go get the lead. Go, Clamp Nation. Clamp Nation. Bam, into the 28. Hey, time to go. These guys time are like having a lot of fun. Yeah, right now, let's go. Let's <laughs> this is the nine car, nine car, hell. nine car. Everybody hey, coming down to pit road, to resetting their car. <laughs> Kari still been the dominant force out here tonight. Down on pit road, Nichols. Nichols out on the track. He's got two laps to make up. There's a 73 of Jake Nichols. Can I get a block cleared, please? Nichols hits the wall. Thank you. The cone is not safe. None of the cones are safe. Pumkari down in a way. Nichols Thank down you. on pit road. Kyle Young out on the track, looking to gain some ground. All right, go to the third finish down. line. Go to the third finish. Clear 22. A lot of black flags being uh, distributed and cleared of, by Brian Purple Nurple Nur uh, Wortman. Keel down on pit road. He can't make his pit stall. He's going to have to tow. <laughs> There's Clampett running in third now. In the 44, but Pumkari been the uh, Pumkari been the dominant force all night. Can I get a black flag thingy? Uh, wave thingy cleared thing? Kari looks like he's lo <coughs> excuse me, losing spots now. Nichols, your leader. Jake Nichols out front there in the 73. We got quite a few guys gaining ground. Nichols, your leader in the 73. 73, your leader. 40 laps to go. Yeah, 73. Nick, uh, Nichols got a lot of clean racetrack in front of him. <laughs> there is white and black That's smoke all trip. over the place. I don't know if this is a NASCAR race at Bristol or a Cheech and Chong movie, but there's a bunch of stuff going on all over. So Nichols, your target now, down, running to, oh, and Mikey V. There in the 75, tries to destroy the 73. Air ball on the 75. The 24 up into the wall, and here comes your former leader. Pumkari scored in fourth right now with a clean race car, wheeling them down. And it, this is accident of, let's go on board with somebody. I want to go on board with anybody, I don't care. I don't care who it is. Let's take a look and see what's going on all over Bristol as we switch camera views. There's Nichols. Nichols, your leader. Bye bye, don't engine. Me. That's it. Bye bye, engine. It's gone. She shut down. And he's still getting hit on pit road. Logan's leading, Logan is leading, 44, take him out. All right, back to the in-car view of Malik Kuntz right now. Look at the hood on that sucker. We see Brent Keel go by and bam! On the outside, these guys 
not showing any mercy, not showing any remorse. I got ah. him. I get him. <laughs> Hang on to her. There's Logan Clampett spun around. You that was your leader right there in the 44. These guys really wheeling these cars here. Oh, you're in third, huh? Mikey V, dead in the water in turn number yeah. four. Look at that view. Oh, God. <laughs> Mikey V is dead in the All water right, in turn number four. Left. We're going to have to tow down left. on Probably Big Road. Take the lead. Your leader. Your leader is Logan Clampett. Richard Schwent, Superman, up to second on the lead lap. We spoke to Richard earlier. Man, I'd love to see Superman win one. But clamp it, your leader right now. Clear 22. Now remember, no uh, pole sitter has ever won a Nord Rumble. Not once, not ever. There's been guys that have been close. And your pole sitter tonight. Black five players cleared. If I can find him. <laughs> oh my god. Pole sitter was Santiago Tierras, and Tierras oh, is actually no. behind. Oh the no, ball. who's in that 24? <laughs> Clampett is your leader, Pumkari in second now. Richard Schwint back to third. I like being a spoiler. Ah, hang on to her. <laughs> 44, still your leader. 44, still your leader. <laughs> I spun out. No, this is embarrassing. Forty-four, giving a shove to the twenty-two, and the twenty-two hard into the inside wall as Clampett brings it down on pit road. Lap seventy-four, we got twenty-six to go. Yeah, I got a bolo on the forty-four. That is going to be Punkari back on the lead lap right there the in the number nine, the nine who's led five, more laps than everybody else. In the seventy-three, fifty-five. The nine car trying to keep his car clean here. How many laps can he get in? And both on lead lap. Without getting oh, smashed. No. Oh, 42 spins clear, around him. 13. Oh, he clips him. There is no rear spoiler left on that number nine car whatsoever at all. Thank you. Are you guys having fun out there on the track? We're having fun. Got a bolo on the 9 and the 44 now, and the 5, and the 93. Nine hey, Kyle, we got to work together right here. The 9 car, still your well, leader. count that out. Brett Punkari. I went for a gap and it closed. Kuntz, Young, Clampett, Nichols, and Schwint back to 6th. Oh, nine car just can't be destroyed. Nine car still your leader. He's led most of the race. Okay, kill the number nine. Kill the <laughs> nine. <laughs> Bam! Got him. Everybody's sacrificing themselves to make sure the nine doesn't You're a finish. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gotta get every position I can. You're a bitch. <laughs> that was good. God, no. That was in perfect position. Uh, taking a look at our leader now. Brent still scored your leader. Kuntz there in front of him on pit road in second. Clampett in second. He's still out on the track. Young and Schwint, come on, Richard. Let's go, Logan's Superman. Back in second, boy. There's Logan eight, 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 bringing eight, it down the road. Logan needing service Ford yet Ford again. Back in second. Logan Punkari still on pit road. Coons still on he's pit first, road. First. Young down and away. This Start may be an opportunity road. for Young to gain a Come couple of two. laps. By the way, Logan, you have a whole pile of cars coming for you. Oh, 
Kyle Young riding in fifth. This is just mayhem and no, chaos. No, no, no. <laughs> Clampett is your leader. He's got at least one lap on the rest of the field right now, but the, everybody's gunning for him. Yo, my five. Yeah. 44, your leader. He's got a lot of clean racetrack. Yeah. Ava, Die. accident Die. avoidance 101. Uh, They're on the 44. Can I get a black flag cleared? Can I get a black flag cleared? Can five get a black cleared? And Clampett continues to lead them around. Let's take a look at some of the other wrecks going on all over the track. Kuntz there in third. And there's Punkari, who's led most of the race in I heavy traffic here in Bristol with 16 to go. Still running in second. Bam, and a miss. Air ball. They're on the number nine. Not able to get it done. Are you guys really letting him be allowed right now? Come on. Accident avoidance is something here at Norco TV where we had our leagues. We actually work on Pukari. Oh, but Pukari not able to get out of that sandwich. He just got murdered. <laughs> that, that was great. Are you, are you telling me Clinton just not power? Just go, wreck the nine, wreck the nine. Wreck the nine and the five. Sounds like the guys are having a good time. I hope you guys are having a good time out of Norgar TV chat. I got a bowl on the 9 and 5, people. 9 and 5. And taking a look at our leader now. Three, three, still three, three, four. You know, the 44 has led a lot of this race. He is down on pit road. It'd be an absolute utter shame if everybody just blocked pit road and he couldn't pull out. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, I can't wreck the nut. <laughs> Logan Clampett telling me F you. Uh, I take it with the best of them. <laughs> Jake Nichols back up to second. Oh, He's out on the track. The you orange cone. So it's turn number three. I'm trying. Punkari, your leader now there in the number nine. 11 laps remaining. Who's going to win it? Brett has been strong all 44 night 44 is back long. on the track. Right game again. <laughs> wow. Where's the 44? 44 is angry Dude, with I me. had this, like, I was, you made me go two laps down, like, 15 laps ago. I got to get you back somehow. <laughs> Look at just everybody roadblock it turns one and two. You, buddy. Or three and four. Look at this. There's just mayhem Clear everywhere. 22. I love God it. Dang it. <laughs> oh my god, Raul. Bam. Somebody come get in turn one with me so we can block this Yeah. Yeah. I'm done out of the race. I'm officially out of the chance of winning. Eight I'm laps remaining. Jake Nichols, your leader now. All Nichols right, out on the track. Pit road. 73 car, your leader, Jake Nichols. 73 out front. Punkari in second. Koontz in third. Clampett in fourth. Richard Schwint holding on to that top oh. five. There is your leader right there. I'm going to wreck your teammate once we get up. What kind of strategy is going to be employed by the rest of the field? I don't know. Quite I've seen how much some time weird things left? happen in these races. Um, 15 seconds get to 73. But they're just letting Nichols just steal All right, it. Whenever the 44 comes off pit road to get him again, I need it. Heck no. Brent Keel hard into the 73. Yeah, 44 is about to come off pit road, so somebody stand there and get him. Get him right there, get him! 
Get him. 73 still moving. Get him. Get him. Nichols out front. Leader. 73 running away with it. 73, four laps to go. He's on the back stretch. What is the rest of the field going to do to prevent the 73 from winning? I don't know what you guys are going to do, but you better do something. Three laps to go. Make a wall in the front stretch. And Mikey V takes a hard one. Takes a hard one to the driver's door. 73 at Nichols. No more engine. Punkari. Punkari out on the track there in the nine. Two laps remaining. Brett Punkari, your leader there in the you're nine. 73, you're 25. Leader is nine car. White flag this time by. The nine car going to steal it. Get the block. Push me the block. Five car hard up into the, the wall. The block nine. Back, oh, he back. may have blown his engine. He may have blown block his it, engine. Block it, block it. He's still rolling. He's still rolling. He's trying block to take the checkered right. flag. Brett Pukari oh, no, through three and four. He's he's through he's major he's amounts of perfect. people just stopped on the track. They don't want him to win. He's got no more. Can he make it? No, he can't. Oh, guys. he's fully stopped. Oh he's my. still he rolling it. though folks he's still <laughs> rolling he's dead. he is dead with 150 walk, feet to the start finish line he's dead they're not letting him through <laughs> Nichols is in second he's down on pit road Richard Schwint down on pit road Cook's down on pit road who's gonna win it this last lap is taking longer than I have ever seen here at Bristol the nine car Jake Nichols in the 73. 73 is two laps down. Two laps down as he goes through the roadblocks. One more to go. It'll be white flag for him. Everybody else is held up. Holy shitballs. Who won that? No one yet. Nobody won it yet. Punkari still right there dead. I, I, I crossed the line before he did, but I don't know how it ended so early. It didn't end well, yet. Well, it's over. Brett won. <laughs> they didn't even cross the line. Clearly, there you go. There he goes. I think it was an accomplishment for me to get 11. <laughs> I don't know who won. I don't know how Brett won. How in the world did Brett win that? He never crossed the start-finish line. How? Please tell me how he won. Because I racing, it just said, well, if he had laps on second place, wouldn't he still win, right? He's got to take the checkered flag. He never took the checkered flag. As far as I'm concerned, the race is still going, but. It's on the second place and doesn't finish the last one. He still won, right? Did the time run out? I've crossed the line like three times after, so. <laughs> I don't know who won, folks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you got it, Nichols. I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. If the time ran out, wouldn't it be just uh, they show the checkered and then that's it? The time didn't run out, actually. We still have 50 minutes left, left in the session, so that's not the case. Um, I I call FUBAR on uh, iRacing scoring. Let's just call it a tie. Yeah, but... Jake, you were two laps down, so that's why you won. Is Brett on the uh, is Brett a lap ahead of uh, number two? Is that why? I don't know who won. <laughs> he never crossed the line, though. I'd say it's seventy three. Well, still, if he's a lap ahead, I think they'd call it. He's two laps ahead. Um, I gotta th I gotta put uh, my admin privileges in here, and I gotta say, Brett, I'm sorry. I I gotta give it to Nichols and. Uh, I just, you never cross the line, Brad. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's the right call, Nord. Um, I never crossed the line, and Nichols blew by me like a bunch of times right now. So that's the right call. Well, that's.
that's pretty crappy on iRacing's scoring part, but, you know, these races so hard to win no matter what. Uh, we hold up our tradition, guys, of uh, the, uh, the pole sitter doesn't win. Pole sitter has never won one of these races. And, uh, Brett, let, well, let's talk to you. Uh, you we're going to say you come – we're going to say you came in second. Uh, you came in second. Uh, you led probably the most laps here tonight. First of all, did you have fun? And second of all, what do you think of these uh, these weird races? That's probably one of the best more rumbles I've ever been in. Um, that was a crazy one out there, the blast. Um, and it's always great to run these more rumbles. Um, always look forward to running these. It's just absolutely chaotic, chaos, carnage, death. Um, cussing, swearing, carnage, giant explosions. What else can I say? Brett, uh, I see you come out to so many of these events. Thank you uh, so much. And, uh, yeah, we saw you in the last race. Um, kind of bad luck there at Talladega. You want to talk to us about uh, the Talladega race for the uh, the uh, charity? Yeah, I uh, started 10th, and... Um, I wanted to brawl up at the front early on, but it got really nuts. Out of so I just said, hey, I'm going to drop to the back, and I ran with uh, Schwint and those guys. And then around lap 50-ish, I said, heck of it, it's showtime. And I decided to go for broke and go and brawl up at the front, and I unfortunately got caught up in a big one, which is a product of Talladega Racing. But Dega is always a great track. And I always said Dega and they told the only good NASCAR race out there because what kind of track doesn't get you to jump out of your seat and scream like astromaniacs? Well, that was a lot of fun to watch. Um, and uh, thanks for coming out and supporting uh, Drive for Diabetes Awareness here tonight. And uh, congratulations on – I'm sorry, i got to give you second place. I'll give you second. Uh, I won't uh, – I won't uh, – knock you any further down but i'll go ahead and give you a second tonight congratulations here at the nord rumble this was a crazy one a uh, lot of horsepower not a lot of not a lot of room to uh giddy up those horses here out tonight anybody got to thank this is gonna be a bit long march up there with me um i haven't done one in quite a while i'm gonna thank uh the car tonight martini rexona we hurry experian banco de brazil um, Mercedes Benz for the engine in the car for the Williams F1 team. Um, I got to thank um, the car and the charity race, everyone at uh, Blue Goose Racing. Um, for giving, uh, thank to uh, Rick Donovan who gave me that nickname, the Blue Goose. Um, I got to thank uh, the guys at ExtremeWorldSports99.com for helping me be a part of their league. I also got to thank um, Sim Racing Authority. I'm running my first full time season there in the truck series and doing all right so far. I always got to thank uh, James Wells over at Gear Jammers. I'm running their leagues also as well, so I've been quite busy. Um, I also got to thank um, you, Nord, obviously, and uh, Brent Cool as well for putting on that charity event that was great to be a part of, and uh, congrats to Ronnie and Flash in the Wind as well. And uh, if I were to give any, if I were to give any fingers, hmm, actually, I was going to think of Brent France anyway. You mess that NASCAR all the time. I was like, you're flipping him off until he actually gets fired. But who am I kidding? He won't. Because he's Brian France. He runs a show as a joke. <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more, man. I really couldn't. Thank you, Brent. Uh, Brett, and uh, congratulations on your second place finish here tonight. Jake Nichols, you come home with a win. I got to give you the. I got to give you the win, Jake. Uh, you were out there. You stayed clean for the like the last five laps. Uh, tell us about that race because it was back and forth all night long. Yeah, man, that was that was incredible. It was so fun, uh, just getting wrecked back and forth and trying to avoid uh, wrecking cars all over the place. That was definitely one of the funnest ones I've been a part of. Now, uh, Jake, I gotta ask you. You got your dog on your car. You got a bunch of years. Did you just lose your dog here as of late? Yeah, it was about. Two weeks ago. I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, I actually did a whole whole uh, day of racing for uh, my dog, uh, Rocky, a couple years back. I know what it's like uh, to lose a uh, dog. They are your best friends. Uh, my condolences to you. I'm sorry you lost your bud. And, uh, yeah. Any Anyway, uh, anybody you want to thank, give the finger to her moon. Now is uh, Now is the time. 
just want to say thanks for that, man. Uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty sad, but uh, thanks for, for thanks for everything putting these races on. They're amazing. Uh, thanks for the broadcast. Thanks to Raul Alves for uh, helping me out there late in the race, making sure I uh, got into victory lane here. Might have turned out a little different than we expected, but uh, I guess it happened. So. Well, that was some crazy stuff. Uh, Richard Schwent, uh, Superman, please tell me you got a copy. Yeah, I'm working on my car, but I'm here. Richard, uh, you officially get scored uh, third and come home third. You were the, uh, you didn't come unglued, and uh, I'm happy for that. And I'm sure that uh, all the other drivers don't know it, but uh, would you have come unglued? Uh, this race may have went a whole bunch different, but you come home with a top three tonight. How do you feel? I feel great. That was uh, no doubt the funnest uh, Nord Rumble. Actually, that was probably the best Nord special event I've ever done, you know, as far as one of these types of deals. That was a blast. The man of steel is able to survive, and you come home third. Uh, Talladega. Let's go back to Talladega. Let's rewind a little bit. Uh, the uh, Drive for Diabetes Awareness charity race there, the Rocco Ride 260. Uh, Non-typical event for Norgar TV. We did, uh, we did uh, 266 miles at Talladega. Uh, a lot of it white knuckle. Tell us about your race there at Talladega. Yeah, he saw that uh, we took the, the stay safe strategy and um, yeah, that didn't work. So, I guess a guy just as well get up there and mix it up. Um, but we still had we still had a good time back there trying to play some strategy. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to Brent's family. Uh, I watched that video. If that doesn't bring a tear to your eye, I don't know what's wrong with you. If anybody hasn't seen the video, you got to see it. Um, I really feel for that. I can't imagine going through that. Um, but a uh, great cause we did tonight. So I wish them all the luck. Thank you very much, Richard. Congratulations. You know, uh, you know, one of, you're one of my good friends. I love seeing you do well here at Norgar TV. Uh, you come home with a third place finish tonight, um, and uh, thanks for coming out. Thanks for supporting, Richard. And uh, anybody you want to say hello to, wave at, give the finger to. Now is your time. All right, Nord. Uh, I want to thank you especially. I wish we could have you out more. Uh, really appreciate everything you think you did. You did. Uh, give a shout out to Wilms. He's probably asleep by now. Uh, I'm definitely going to give a finger to some former friends of mine, Joe Petrick, uh, Trent Zickerman, Paul Case. Uh, you know, I thought they had it in my back, but instead they wrecked me tonight. But this was a great way to blow off some steam horse. This is a great thing you came up with. Cool, cool. All right, thank you, Richard, and uh, that's going to do it here tonight live on Norgard TV. Um, results, uh, they don't reflect what they should be. Um, they don't reflect at all. Nichols actually comes home with a win. We're going to score Punkari in second, Schwinn in third, Koontz in fourth, uh, Young in fifth, in sixth going to be Clampett, who was telling me F you down on pit road. Because uh, <laughs> I was telling everybody to block pit road. Petrick is uh, going to come home in uh, seventh. Eighth is going to be Bird. Bird Jr. in ninth. And rounding out your top ten is going to be Anthony uh, Cothran. Um, so that being said, I would like to thank everybody who had joined us here tonight. And uh, I'm going to try one more time uh, just what Richard just said there. Uh, if you haven't seen the video and uh, you can't find it in your heart to uh, shed a tear for what we were racing here for tonight, then uh, I don't think you're human, actually. But uh, we definitely had a great time uh, raising money for uh, Brent Keel's uh, Drive for Diabetes Awareness Charity and Foundation. Um, all the money that has been raised tonight, and you